I'm Chef Wild. Thanks for joining me today for Wild's Walkabout. We're up here about 2,500 feet in elevation on this mountainside, and we haven't even got into the hard timber yet, and I've already found uh, two types of edibles. First one is wild raspberry or thimbleberry, just right here on the edge. Everybody knows that from the last show. We also got some huckleberries, some giant huckleberries here. Nice little bush. You can see the berries there. These are perfect for any kind of pie or any kind of jam you want to make. But what I'm real excited about is the mushrooms we're hopefully going to find in here. So let's get in these hardwoods and see what we can round up, huh? Alright, so when we're looking for mushrooms, kind of in these hardwoods here, what we're looking for is any kind of little patches of light that come through here. Mushrooms will absorb that light and immediately start popping up. So anywhere where we see these patches of light, we're going to go check for mushrooms and hopefully we're going to get lucky. We might find some chanterelles growing out here. So, I came to this little patch of sunshine down here and we found uh, some coral mushroom. First things first, anytime we go out mushroom hunting, I always bring a knife so you don't kill the mycelium that's in the ground. And just want to slice it off at the bottom there, like so. And you can see it's just growing all over the ground here. I'll let you get a close-up of it. And I always bring little containers, because these are really fragile mushrooms. So I'll break up my backpack, and I'll be putting that in my container and taking that home with us. This is delicious. Get a lid on these guys. And back into the pack. Now what I just found here is a big patch of chanterelle mushrooms. And yellow chanterelles go for about anywhere from eight to fifteen dollars a pound fresh on the market. And these are some beauties. You want to see there? Oh, those are gorgeous. And I'm going to finish cleaning this whole patch up here. Now, for the chanterelles, I like to keep a, a burlap sack. Helps keep them fresh. So I'll go ahead and break out my pack. My nice little rice burlap. And with any luck today, We'll fill this thing with chanterelles. Now when you're picking mushrooms, you always want to wear tennis shoes. So where you're stepping, could be future mushrooms down in, in the ground. And you don't want to squish them down in there or they won't come back up. So, you want to walk very delicately if you can. Oh, and these little button chanterelles are the best. I like them small. There's a big old banana slug. More chanterelles. Gorgeous. He just came up this morning. Had a nice hard rain last night. Really getting them blooming. Absolutely gorgeous. this guy. Banana slug. Pretty cool pattern, huh? Go. Now these may look edible, nice bright red berries, 
But what this is is a it's red baneberry, and these are actually toxic. And I'm sure if they weren't toxic, squirrels or birds would be be eating them. It's a real big berry. It's got seeds in the middle there, and they are highly poisonous fruit, plant, and the berries. So probably shouldn't have popped that berry, but I did. I'll go ahead and leave. I find all kinds of chanterelles just alongside this cutout here. And to give you a sense of how high up we are, I'm going to walk over to the edge here, take a look over the hillside. So. Oh, look at this. Big patch of chanterelles right here. Right here. Take these with me. Oh yeah. And then take a peek over here. It gives you a real sense of how high up we are. Gorgeous view. Without the trees being cut down. Now here we found a little patch in, in the moss here of uh, Pipsissawa, and it's a medicinal plant that um, uh, Native Americans used to make uh, tea out of for back aches. I wouldn't recommend eating it uh, or making tea or actually touching it because it can cause blisters to the skin. It's in the wintergreen family, and there's a few of them, just little ones, growing right in the moss here. It's a pretty little plant, and it puts on a nice, cute little flower on it when they bloom kind of in the fall, but... That's what they are. It's a nice little find. Now what we found here is some Indian pipe. It's a conifer parasite. And uh, what the natives used to do is use this for uh, a pain medicine. It contains a powerful sedative. Um, I wouldn't recommend using it medicinally. Um, you you got to figure in that natives' lives actually were about half of what ours are. So not all their medicines were great, but they kind of look like little little roses growing here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave these, but uh, I just want to show you what they are. They're uh, they're rare to find. Um, in fact, I'm I'm pretty sure that they're at least threatened, if not endangered. So we're just going to go ahead and leave this little patch alone, but. Uh, they're pretty cool looking Indian pipe and it's nice to know that you know the native medicines can still be found out here so that's an awesome score on the walk found some more Indian pipe here I say it's rare to find but I think we've we've hit a nice little patch in here so it's pretty cool it's good to see that we got all kinds of uh, chanterelles in the foreground here background we got some uh, Indian pipe and over here next to the log we got some coral fungus so this log right here this little area is just healthy several types of edible coral fungus going here It'd be real delicate this stuff is really fragile and also really delicate in flavor Going around this whole stump here. Hopefully, we can get enough of this to make a little appetizer with. That'll be awesome. Once again, thanks for joining me on Wild's Walkabouts. Uh, saw some pretty cool stuff today. Picked about eight pounds of chanterelle mushrooms. I uh, got enough uh, coral mushrooms to make a little appetizer, enough huckleberries and thimbleberries to make a, a little tart or a pie. Um, it's starting to get dark out here though and uh, we're in bear country and the only thing I have is my trusty knife and don't want to be rustling any black bears with that so I'm going to head on out of here. So until the next uh, walkabout, hope to see you then. Cheers for now.